A really important topic when we're dealing with forces in physics is normal forces. So basically a normal force is anything that deals with, um, we have something that we're analyzing and when something else is touching it. So a lot of times that has to do with sort of the plane that it's on. It can be an inclined plane that's causing a normal force. It can be a straight plane. Um, but it can also be something else touching it. So a block, if we have a person in an elevator, they're going to feel a normal force from whatever they're sitting on. Um, but this is definitely a really important topic. Um, and so today we're just going to sort of go over a really basic problem, just so that you get the idea of um, how to deal with normal forces. And I would say that the most important thing that you can remember is, one, to deal with the system, and then two, to isolate. So this is important because you almost always have all the information that you need for a system in a given problem. But you might not have all the information that you need to figure out exactly what normal force you're dealing with. Um, so in this case, we have something pretty basic. We have two blocks put together, and we're pushing both of them. Um, so the question is, what is the force that the two kilogram block exerts on the three kilogram block. Um, and so to figure that out, we have to go off of the idea that both of these two are going to be accelerating together. That is, when I push on them, they're both going to go together. So in that case, we can deal with the system first, basically just with our same old Newton second law, sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. And here, we're considering them together because we're dealing with the system. So I'm just going to draw around my system. And sometimes that's helpful to just show what you're evaluating at any given time. So because we don't have any friction on here, we just have the force applied is going to be equal to the masses times acceleration. And what we want is acceleration. We know the force applied, and we know the two masses. So the acceleration of both of these blocks is going to be equal to 10 newtons divided by 3 kilograms plus 2 kilograms. So 10 divided by 5 is going to be equal to 2 meters per second squared. So now we know basically everything we need to about the system. And we know that both of these blocks are accelerating at this speed. So then when we go to this system, so I'm going to start writing in blue so you can tell the difference. So this is my second system, which is really just me isolating part of the system from the rest of it. So now I don't care about the two kilogram block. I want to know about the force that's being applied from the two kilogram block onto the three kilogram block. So again, we're going to use Newton's second law. So the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. And here our mass is just the three kilogram mass. Um, and we have that 10 Newtons is really just touching the three kilogram mass. Um, but we also have another force on it, and that's the force normal that's coming from the two kilogram mass. So 10 minus the normal force equals three kilograms. And we already found the block's acceleration because we know that they're accelerating together, and that's its acceleration. So two meters per second squared. So that means we can solve for the normal force, force normal is equal to 10 newtons, and then minus 3 times 2 is going to be 6, so that gives us 4 newtons. Um, and this
this problem is pretty basic, but you could definitely have something like this on um, a quiz or a test. And really, it's just going to give you the tools to deal with much more complicated systems, which we'll see in problems like a person in an elevator. Um, and then it becomes much more important. So hopefully this is easy for you to understand. <laughs>